Aloha. Aloha, and welcome to this episode of the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. My guest today was born and raised in Ohio, where she began her musical journey as a clarinet player and then began playing saxophone in high school. She shares her love of music in many facets, one of which is working at a hospital and using music therapy to help patients in need. This musician has played with some of the top bands in Cleveland, Ohio, and has performed with many of the industry leading musicians. Her latest single, Summer Vibes, will have you up and dancing and is climbing the charts. I am so happy to have her here today. Let's welcome Miss Brittany Atterbury to the show. Aloha, Brittany, how are you? Aloha, I'm great. How are you? <laughs> great. It is so great to have you here. I think last time you did my radio show, and I promised you. I promise you will be doing live here with me on the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. So I am so glad to have you here. So let's uh, just jump. Let's just jump right into it, Brittany. How did you get your start in music? Well, uh, I got my start with the clarinet, as mentioned. Um, I was uh, listening to 107.3 The Way, which was here in Cleveland. Um, the backseat of my mom's car and oh mom I love this music I want to do this I want to do and I probably was listening to Dave Oz because that that man that's my guy right there oh I love it <laughs> um, and so um, my mom's like well your cousin has a clarinet you could start there and started in band and yeah, I took off from there nice now where was your first gig or your first performance I should say oh that's a hard one <laughs> Um, I performed here in Cleveland, so there was a spot named Frederick's Wine and Dine, um, and I was invited out uh, by another local musician. I was like, hey, Britt, bring your horn, come out and play. I was so scared. Oh, my God, I was terrified. I was like, no, gonna, uh, no, because I was used to playing, you know, classical music in a band, mm -hmm. where I was reading music, and this was like on stage. I wasn't reading music. It was memorized. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but I loved it. <laughs> Do you play any other other instruments? You know, you play the clarinet, of course, because these woodwind instruments are all go together, right? So uh, you play the clarinet, play the saxophone. What other instruments do you play? I play guitar and piano. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. That's one of the ones I want to learn how to play is the guitar. I oh really my do. Goodness. Yes. You know what? I have this bass behind me. I have been, you know, picking it up and trying to like, you know, get it. Don't ask me to play right now because it's not. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh, oh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you are going to be picking it up. We, that's going to be on one of your records, too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> now, who are your idols? Who Name some of your idols growing up. Oh, man, I'm going to have to say uh, Kenny Garrett, um, Dave Koz, Gerald Albright, Kirk Whalum. Um, mm -hmm. James, oh, that tenor sound. I, man, there's yes. so much. Cannonball Adderley for sure. I mean, that's, that's, you know, classic. Uh, those are my items. Now, who would you, if giving anything, who would you like to, out of your idols or anybody else, who would you like to collab with? Because I know, I know you've done some collaborations with a few people already. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but who, <laughs> who would be your dream collaboration? Dream. It, it would have to be Dave Koz on his cruise. I have just, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ever since I heard about that cruise, I was like, I have to be on it when I just, I just have to be on it. I just, oh my goodness. And it just Dave Koz for, for the simple fact that, you know, overall his, his character, his personality, his business sense, uh, and his music, he is just a phenomenal role model for me. Uh, but I am doing collaborations with other people like Vandale Andrew. We just did this latest track. Mm -hmm. Not, yes. And so we might have a show coming. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, we're going to have to be looking out for that. Yes. <laughs> uh, for sure. Now, with the with COVID, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just so happy you artists are coming back out, um, really, and, and performing. So with, with that being said, with COVID, um, you know, it put everything to a halt. What exactly were you doing during that time to, you know, to keep yourself up and, and up to be, you know? Yes. Yeah, so actually COVID was probably one of the best times for me uh, because I got to sit down and really uh, hone in on the recording process. 
Uh, I was recording my first single starting now with mm -hmm. Judah Seely, uh, a great producer. Um, and, uh, and I was also working on summer vibes and I just remember spending hours in my home studio, which was a great advantage, uh, because I got the chance to sit down and really listen to what I was doing and critique and adjust and grow, uh, on top of being a mommy, <laughs> a new mm -hmm. mommy, uh -huh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was just building the brand and the business and, and plan as much as I possibly could. How are you balancing? Because your your son is just so cute. He is just so cute. How do you balance between Aww. your just how do you balance life in general with everything that you do? You know, because you're gonna be touring after a while, I'm sure. So, you know, you gotta yes. keep that in the back of mind. How you doing? Yeah, you know what? That is a very tricky thing. And I will first off say that I have so much respect for the musicians who are out there who are mothers and they are touring and, and doing their thing with the kid because they take a lot of work. They take a lot of work. Oh, they take a lot of work. But I will say this, I am grateful for my husband's support. He's extremely supportive. He, I mean, he, he loves that boy to pieces, we both do. Um, but I try to make sure my routine is solid. I make sure I'm working out. I'm uh, getting some great exercise. I'm eating healthy. Um, I spend time with him that's dedicated. And then when I put him to sleep, this is mommy's practice time. You know, even if I'm exhausted, I'm like, I'm going to practice at least. I'm going to get a good 30 minutes or a good hour in, or I'm going to, you know, tweak something. And I think it's just putting it into habit um, and, and, and continuing that. And, and at times it's tough. You, you got to know when to step away. When it's time mm -hmm. to take a break and say, okay, you know what, <laughs> honey. Um, I mean, like this week, for example, this week has been tough. Um, we have the interview tonight. I have a concert tomorrow um, that I'm going to be doing here in Cleveland. And I have a funeral to perform at on Friday and another show on Saturday. So it's just like one thing after another. And it's great, but it does take, <laughs> take a lot of work. Wow. Now, people, you know, some people may know and some people don't, but you have a very unique job because not only are you a musician, but you actually have a job uh, doing music therapy. Tell us about that. So music therapy is super, super cool. Um, what it is, is playing like guitar or piano um, and singing to patients to help them accomplish their musical goals. Um, so, for example, working in uh, the hospital in an um, intensive care unit, you'll find patients who may have suffered from a traumatic brain injury um, or a stroke, and they need to be rehabilitated back to homeostasis where they can uh, be oriented to what today is, who they are, um, how to speak again. Sometimes it's using fine motor, gross motor skills that may have been lost as a result of the injury. Um, and then we use music as like this happy medium to, um, you know, kind of take their minds off of the, the difficulty of accomplishing something. And music is like this direct signal that just uh, hardwires like directly to what we needed to do. So it, it's just amazing seeing um, these patients light up and seeing them accomplishing their goals. Now, you know, we are going to talk about this new song that you have out. Uh -oh. your, <laughs> your, your first single was Starting Now. And I've told you this, okay? We talked about this. Your first single was Starting Now, and I love that, okay? But when you came out with this new one, Summer Vibes, I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You know, the viewers will be hearing it later on um, here in a few minutes. But tell us about what was the inspiration for this island tune? OK, so <laughs> the inspiration is this. I know, right? Because it's such a fun track. So mm -hmm. as a little girl, my mom and my dad were huge party Friday night after a whole week of working, we call on a party, the family's over. We had so much reggae music and dance hall style music going on. You wouldn't believe it, okay? You wouldn't believe it. 
So that's in me. I, and I love that. I love to dance. If you play that style of music anywhere, you better believe I'm on a dance floor. If there's line dancing, I'm on a dance floor. So when I was sitting down to write, you know, I talked to Vandell and I'm like, hey, I want to do kind of like a dance hall style, you know, uh, groove. And he's like, really? You know, he was like, oh, OK, I've never done this before, but let's let's work on it. Let's do something. And when we came up with this, it was just like, oh, that's it. That's it. So I just love it. I'm telling you that that tune is fire, fire. Thank um, you. Do you think you could play it for us? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Possibly. I have my sax here. <laughs> sure, let's give you a little sample. Yes, yes, just a little sample. Just a little bit.
I'm pretty sure y'all couldn't see me dancing, but I, I mean, I'm just like in here to dance into that. You guys have to go out and get that tune. I'm telling you, you're going to have to go out and, and get it. Goodness, Brittany, you just playing your heart out. Oh. <laughs> you enjoy you. that. I can tell you enjoy playing it. I can I tell. Love I love that song so much. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> I can tell you enjoy playing that. Now, Brittany, as a, as a new artist, you're a new artist, what advice would you give other artists that are coming into this industry right now? Oh, my goodness. I would say don't be uh, discouraged by what's around you. Focus on what you can do to improve you. Um, keep it great. Make great connections with people. Um, and stay positive. Um, know that it is not a sprint. It is a marathon. So enjoy this journey. Yes, I like that. I like that. What shows do you have on Horizon? What can what's on your calendar that we need to be looking at? Yes. So coming up uh, tomorrow and next Thursday, uh, I will be at the front stage right here in uh, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Uh, this is going to be from eight to eleven p.m. Uh, please come on out and have a good time and support. Um, and uh, we're, we're just going to have a blast. We're going to have a blast. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> Where can people go to find your music, Brittany? Where can they follow you? Where can they go to find your music? Give us all the details. So you can find me at www.brittanyatterberry.com. Uh, that is my personal website. And there you will find links to uh, download my CD, purchase the CD, get the autographed copy. Oh, it's so, <laughs> oh, so nice. You get the graphics, you can set it up. There. Even if you don't play CDs anymore, you, you know, the artwork, you know, <laughs> we put a lot of that, right? <laughs> um, you can also check me out at Brittany Atterbury on Facebook and M-Z-L-A-D-Y-S-A-X-X, Ms. Lady Sacks on Instagram. Wow. Well, Brittany, it has been a pleasure to have you here on this show. And like I say, because we talked about this, I know you want to come to Hawaii. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I got to cut. See, I got the song for it now. <laughs> you do. I'm ready. You I'm ready. do. You know, so, you know, we're going to have to work on that. We're going to have to definitely work on getting you here, um, here to Hawaii to play that, you know, so we all can be, you know, just yes. jam it to it, you know. Oh my God, thank you so much. And thank you for all the support, the streams. Oh, it's so appreciated. Well, thank you again, Brittany, for being here on the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. And to my viewers, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, aloha and God bless. Aloha.